Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Uh, we're going to talk about some five families business uh, in terms of promotions. Um, out of uh, a gangland news dispatch last week, it looks like Hippie Zanfardino, Michael Hippie Zanfardino, uh, who was once known as an up-and-comer in the Genovese crime family, is now, he's come up. Uh, he's, a, he's a skipper, according to Jerry Capace over at Gangland News. I'm not sure what crew he took over, but uh, it was announced that, um, or it was written, that uh, at some point after Hippie's release from prison on an extortion and attempted murder, uh, be from uh, a conviction in, in the uh, 1990s, uh, came out of prison in 2016, and uh, his status has been kind of a meteoric ascent, according to uh, Capace's reporting. And it's of note, you know, this is a guy that you know, came up under Barney, uh, you know, the boss, considered kind of a boss of bosses right now in New York City, Barney Belomo, um, the ghost on, you know, he's a shadow. Uh, very few photos of this guy. Uh, he moves and tiptoes through the, raindrops and and everybody knows that uh, this is the gold standard you know he's he's everything that don is should be uh he does it the right way uh you know from a socio-academic point of view and frankly from a street point of view um he's a guy that's equally loved feared and respected uh and if barney likes you you know you're gonna be you know you're going to be a guy that is going to be a number one draft pick. Uh, you're going to be, uh, you know, destined uh, as long as you stay on the straight and narrow and you don't do a Ralph Coppola, uh, you're, you're going to be destined for, for big things in the crime family. Speaking of Ralph, Ralph Coppola, uh, you know, Barney's one time a very close friend of his and uh, acting top of his crew for a while. Hippie was Amber Dino was very close to, to, to Ralphie. Uh, Ralphie, it disappeared after allegedly stealing from the from the crime family. Barney was away in prison. Uh, but you know, Hippie is a guy that people knew about, like I said, back in the 80s, uh, as you know, kind of a, a JB mobster uh, out of Pelham Bay. And uh, you know, got into some shootouts with the Tanglewood boys, and, and everybody knew that this guy was a, a, gonna be a, a force to be reckoned with, and it looks like he is uh now now a capo, uh, according to the the reporting from Gangland News, he attended the Genovese Christmas party that, that came up in a uh, court hearing before Christmas in a, uh, a detention motion uh, related to Anthony Romanello and uh, Joe Celso uh, after they had been convicted of, of extortion and collecting a $90,000 gambling debt a couple of days before that. Uh, Celso was, was jailed and it was mentioned that he had attended this party with some some Genovese big shots and uh, Ernie Muscarello was there they have the reputed underboss uh and you know Hipp Hippie Zambertino was there uh it was also you know, look at some some FBI reports from back in the day uh he was also you know seen meeting with and doing business with Tough Tony uh over uh in, in Queens so Hippie's a guy that uh, everybody knows and you know a lot of people like and uh, like Barney. Uh, he he might have the magic touch when it comes to uh, future leadership. We'll split. We will see. But uh, Barney's obviously tapped him to to lead a lead a regime, and he's he's a couple right now. Fifty five years old, probably got another quarter century in the life. So uh, checking in from five families in New York City. OG Pod Scott Bernstein out. Mm -hmm.